Oh, babe, what is that? Do you hear that? It's the sound of peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. Is that, what that is? Jared's out here working. The sun came out. Turned into a beautiful day. It rained a little bit earlier. Ooh, yeah. the camera was fogging up, so maybe we'll do this inside. <laughs> it's a bit humid already. But we wanted to tell you guys about something really cool. So if you've been following our channel, you know that we love the company Flexi Spot. They yes. make amazing desks, chairs, lots of different things. We have a lot of their stuff that we love. Yes. Yeah. So they recently reached out to us because they just came out with a new recliner, which is super cool. They told us all about it. My mind went to my brother-in-law, Nick, and his wife, Tiff, my sister, Tiff. The reason being is because it's a specialty recliner that's like good for the lumbar support and neck and Nick has kind of a bad back he's always had kind of back issues and so we were thinking you know what maybe they could use a new recliner so we reached out to them and they were like heck yes <laughs> so flexi spot was awesome I was like yeah that would be great so they sent yeah. it over to Nick and Tiff out in Utah <laughs> they got it not too long ago and they have been raving about it you guys he's been sending me like videos and like text messages about like how much they love it <laughs> they're talking about like how comfy it is how big it is like so they're kind of like, you know, big people in general. Like Nick is huge. He's a big guy. And then Tiff, she's, you know, tall as she's well. She's tall, like yeah. Brittany. She's like 5'10". Yeah. yeah. And she was talking about like how she can just like lay out like perfectly in it. I mean, is there anything better? We watch TV like this. Honestly, I'll read a book. Just lounge and hang out. It's so nice and relaxing. Let's just say they've been raving about it so much so that now Jared is kind of regretting that we didn't have it sent here. And so... I am, I am definitely regretting that a little bit. He was bit. like, this would be awesome. We could put it right here. And I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. But they said it was super easy to put together. This one's really cool because it actually rocks and it swivels, which yeah. is kind of awesome. And it has like a top portion of the headrest can actually be tilted so it can like comfort your head. It even has a built-in USB charger, which is yeah. super, super awesome. They got it in a dark chocolate brown color but it also comes in cream as well so if any of you guys are in the market for a super comfy recliner you can go ahead and click the link below we also have an exclusive code it is xr430 and you get $30 off plus free shipping which is awesome now I'm just gonna have to see if we end up getting one for this guy <laughs> I hope you enjoy it, Nick and Jeff. <laughs> Anyways, it was so fun to be able to give them that and see their reaction. They absolutely love it. Just like that, we're back, baby. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, indeed. Helps get anxiety when packing oh for trips. Boy. I don't think I've ever been so stressed to pack for a trip. <laughs> I can attest to that. This one, because there's a reason for this, you guys. Okay, because we are going to Paris, and the temperature is going to be quite different than the rest of the Mediterranean. That yeah. We're and then we're going to Switzerland after, so we have to yep. pack kind of calls for any temperature of weather. Because if you are seeing this video, this is the end of May, and so May into June, you just what the I know, I know. We got stuff galore, as you can see. Puppy. Oh, he's doing okay. He's doing a little better. He's feeling better, but still, now he sees the suitcases, so that means oh. he's not that. So he's proud a little bit. But he's gonna be in great hands with my sister Michelle. But let's jump into packing. If you are heading to Europe this summer, I feel like I have a lot of great packing tips and options for you. So let's just jump into it. As you can tell, I am actually checking a bag because we were gonna be gone for 17 days on a cruise and everything like that. If I was just doing Europe and not the cruise, I'd probably just do a carry-on because I know going in the street and like lugging your big suitcase all around is probably not the most ideal thing. But since we are going on the cruise, we don't have to worry about taking our luggage everywhere all the time. Mm -hmm. So that is why we are doing two checked bags. Plus we also got free checked bags through United, which was a definitely a huge plus for us. Yeah, that was awesome too. So let's get into it. I don't even know where to start right now. So I am doing a compressed packing cube for a lot of my stuff. So my sister Michelle recently got back from Italy and she used that method and absolutely loved it. So I just got this pack off Amazon. This is the same pack she used and she was like, it was incredible. So it comes with quite a few bags, different sizes. We will put a link for anything down below as well because I got quite a bit of this stuff off Amazon. I have like all of my 
tank tops and workout wear and everything just in this one. So as you can tell, you just throw this in your bag. It saves space, especially if you're doing a carry-on. I would highly, highly recommend the compressed packing cube. So my plan is these are all of my tops and I kind of planned my shirts. Most of them are kind of just basic so I can mix and match. Of course, I'm bringing like the basic white tee, black tee, another kind of more like loose white tee, and then just a few like pretty tops. I'm not gonna pack too many because I'm bringing a ton of dresses for this trip. In the Mediterranean, it's gonna be warmer and my sister was telling me like she wished she would have taken more dresses. So I'm gonna be packing those. But with all my t-shirts, I'm going to roll these and then put them in here and hopefully they will all fit in here. Yeah. They fit quite a few. So I'm also bringing some longer button downs. I thought these striped ones were so fun and you can layer them. I'm also bringing just a plain black blazer that I'll be able to throw over anything if it gets a little bit chilly, mm. which is gonna be awesome. And then you guys, oh, I cannot wait for you to see all these dresses. I'm not gonna <laughs> show you them all right now, but you're gonna watch our videos to see. I found so many amazing dresses. This could be like a swimsuit cover up or just like put it over anything to layer as well, just like a linen white basic, which is gonna be really nice. You guys check out this darling cream. I will show you this one, because this is actually from Walmart. And look at this, oh, it is yeah. like such a beautiful white kind of springy summertime dress and I got some really cute belts I'm gonna put around with it. But it's like a linen, I thought that was very European and really cute. Very cool. So, oh, and then I have some <laughs> really cute ones for all the different cities. We're going to Rome and just along the Mediterranean. So I'm gonna roll all of those. And then of course I'm gonna bring a few pairs of shorts. So like I have this cute red one, I have this cute linen one, more like a swimsuit cover up, a few different ones that can like get wet. Pants, I'm just bringing a basic black pair of trousers a white linen pant, a pair of jeans, and then these are really cute wide leg kind of cream pants. If you're not going to cooler places, obviously I wouldn't be packing these pants, but it is gonna vary from like 60, 65, all the way up to 80, so I just wanna be prepared kind of with everything. And then I can obviously match a lot of these with my different tops, kind of mix and match to make different outfits, because we're working on for 17 days. So mm -hmm. that's, it's a, long, a time. long time. I'm also gonna be wearing a jacket on the plane, kind of a longer trench, because I think we'll probably need that in Switzerland and Paris. So let's start with some cruise essentials. So Ooh. first of all, Jared over here. Yes. Because Jared's kind of on a stricter, he's <laughs> eating certain foods with you only certain things. You can see Brittany's clothes and <laughs> luggage, and Jared, half of my bag is snacks. It's mainly snacks. So <laughs> Nuts. There's a lot of good things like some dried fruit. I went to Trader Joe's, got a lot of different dried fruits. Also this lesser evil popcorn and these little mini side yeah, ones. I thought would be perfect. perfect. Just stuff he can snack on, especially on like excursion days, we can throw in a bag to take with us. On the cruise itself, you guys, this is one of my biggest tips. If you are doing a cruise, bring some hangers. I, they only provide a few hangers in the closet, and I don't know about you, but I love being able to like hang up my dresses and nicer shirts so they don't stay wrinkly and I can just see what I have. So I always bring hangers. I also always bring like a little beach bag, especially for days on the ship that we can throw everything in. Obviously, sunblock, you can buy it on the ship, but it's way more expensive. We always bring these little pool towel clips. Just got a big box of those from Amazon. Of course, all the sunnies, as you guys know, I love Sojo sunglasses, so I get all these on Amazon, super affordable. I'll put a link for them. There's so many cute styles and things like that. Baseball hat is essential, not only for the cruise, but just in Europe in general, I'm gonna bring that. Moving on to the best Royal Tree bag ever, you guys. You can save counter space, and this literally fits everything. You can get on the door. I literally have my full size shampoo and conditioner in here. I have a place for jewelry up here, all my makeup stuff, hair stuff. Everything fits right in here and it folds up so nicely like this and then you just <laughs> zip it up and it's like the best toiletry bag. So I love bringing this, especially on cruises because it saves counter space. It's and it's so not just for women, I have one too. Yeah, Jared has one too. <laughs> so anyways, that is my toiletries and then I'm bringing obviously just a few hair tools. So moving on to a few accessories for Europe, you guys. I thought I ordered some cute scarves that I thought would be really cute just to kind of add to some outfits. And also one of my main things, Michelle actually showed me this. You guys, one of the big things in Europe is obviously security and making sure stuff is safe. So that, how cute is this little 
raffia bag. You can keep it right here close to you in the front. And I think it's gonna look just so cute with my different like dresses and outfits. Plus I can keep it tight and keep it right in front of me so that way you don't pick pocketers and things like that, it's not on my back. And on the topic of theft, I got myself a new backpack that is anti-theft proof. <laughs> At least that's what they're claiming. And I'm actually very excited about it because right here is a TSA locking device. It's set to zero, so don't tell anyone. <laughs> But all you do, <laughs> very, very, very secure. Right yes. now. I'll change it later, but check this out. I got all my stuff here. I love this like little netting so stuff doesn't fall out when I'm like yeah, that's opening and closing nice. it. Inside of here is my computer. I got an extra little storage pocket here. In fact, it's our little uh, translator device. Then down inside of here, when you open up the netting, I got my medicine that I need and all the camera equipment we use for our video. All the drones, all the things. Yeah. And what's really cool, because obviously if you're wearing a backpack in Europe, we were told not to have zippers on the outside that like someone could stand behind you and like unzip. Yes. So these show them kind of where yeah, they're in hidden. The front, there's like zero zippers. So like isn't none. that incredible? I mean, there's this one right here, but it's for a cup holder. Like, yeah, so we're not gonna have that. anything in there. So. And there's also a little section here for USB and USB-C charging. And on the top, there's a little pocket right here for like quick grab stuff of like things you don't really care about, like gum and chapstick. Yes, yep. And then on the back, don't tell anyone this either, <laughs> this is where I store all of our cash. Perfect, and that sits against his yeah. back, so. Yeah. That'll be awesome. He got this off Amazon. We'll link that. And then also he mentioned our translator. We'll show yeah. you guys how that works more so when oh, we're over there's there. There's also a little secret pocket here too oh. for like credit cards. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, it's very cool. That's a little, I don't know I if know. I trust that. Yeah, I tested it. It doesn't work. Okay. And there's a little section right here to hang your sunglasses. We also should mention we got a tip from Michelle's husband. If you are needing euros, he said the best exchange rate is yes. to do it at your local bank a few days before. Yep. So there's a little tip. So we did that a few days ago. So Jared has some euros we're taking. They did say you can use credit card mostly everywhere, but it is nice just to have some in case. Anyway, so. And then look how cute with these cute little scarves. I thought depending on what I'm wearing to make it kind of cute. Yeah, that's but cute. Add a little flair to it. Also along those lines, I ordered a pack of belts from Amazon, you guys. Just three basic colors, so a black one, a black one, kind of a brown one, and then a light taupe one. Three pack, they were like 20 bucks, and I feel like I can mix and match and add these to different outfits to really, you know, it's your- Spice it up, baby. Cute outfit. That's right. Moving on to shoes. So shoes are probably the most important thing when doing a Europe vacation, because we are gonna be walking a lot. Mm -hmm. So we did invest in some hookahs. Michelle swears by this. She lives in New York and does a ton of walking. And so Jared and I got matching pairs. That's right. Where we've been wearing them around a lot. They have really good arch support and cushion. I also did some research and found some really good walking sandals. So these are by Reef. I got these off Amazon. And you guys, I thought these were kind of just cuter. They, from far away, they look cuter. They're actually like, they're waterproof, but they're super squishy, if you can tell here. And when you put them on, they're very comfy. And so I'll probably be wearing these to walk around and they're waterproof, so great for like the cruise. And I feel like we'll use them here a ton too. So mm -hmm. I'll report back on these to see how these do. And then I'm just bringing a basic pair of sandals to throw on for days that we're not like walking around time to wear to dinner and things like that. And then also just a pair of white sneakers to go with different things. I like those a lot. As well. So I'm gonna wear these on the plane, pack these down here. You guys, look how perfect this is. This is my base carry-on bag and it has this compartment right here for all my shoes so I like to stick them in here plus a few plastic bags because when they get dirty I can put them in here so I don't get my bag all dirty you know <laughs> and then that just sits on top of here and then in my carry-on okay <laughs> so we have a few things Michelle is so sweet she actually brought me back this little tote bag from Italy how sweet is that she said she wished she had a little tote bag to take with her purse Something that if it got stolen wouldn't be the end of the world. So just to carry like water bottles, treats, different things like that, souvenirs. So I'm actually packing this for our flight. So this has all of our different snacks and things like that that we might want on our flight. It has like my little phone holder <laughs> for that and just anything we might need on our flight. So I'm gonna put this in here and that way I can put this in the overhead compartment and I'll have this kind of just to stick up. Yeah, that's the seat. perfect. And then I found this cute little makeup bag and this holds all the stuff I'll need on my flight. So I got my charger in here. I got my headphones. 
little Q-tips, little travel size deodorant. We did bring some travel size toothbrushes so we can brush our teeth on our flight. And then this is really cute. This is a little pill organizer. So we have like melatonin, Unisom, Tylenol, Ibuprofen, Benadryl. Anything we could need on the flight is right here. Threw that in there, hand sanitizer, wipes, you know, just all the little travel essentials. But that way they're all in this little bag. And so I'll have this and this, and then of course, our neck pillows. Oh so yeah. One of the most important things is obviously you want to sleep on your flight for Europe. And so we did get the turtle neck pillows, you guys. If you have not seen these or heard of these, Michelle showed us these. She said they are a game changer on the flight. Literally, mm -hmm. you look kind of crazy, but that doesn't matter because- It looks like a neck brace. Sleep. I know, it's like a neck brace, so watch. You put it here and you just put this around and tuck it in here, and then it's literally like I'm leaning up against a wall. Yeah, I tried it on, it's really crazy. That. Also grab a pack of sleep masks, just so we can get our sleep. So this is a little phone holder with a phone strap, so that way I can be kind of hands-free and I'm not having to get in and out of my bag a ton because obviously we're gonna be taking lots of pictures and videos. Mm -hmm. Jared found these, these are our passport holders, and you guys, he actually put air tags on them yeah. as well. So these are really convenient. There's a little place for pens and different things like that, so super, super handy and nifty. And speaking of air tags, I put one on each side of the check bags, that way you always know where they are. Yes, and then kind of along those lines, you guys, since we are going to Europe, we are taking converters. We found this one, this is a European one. It has USB plugs, different outlets that we might need. We also did buy a separate one for Switzerland because I have heard you need a different one for Switzerland plugs. So we do have a few of those as well. I do have a bag full of just different medicines and things like that that we may need on our cruise. You can get a lot of stuff in Europe, I know, but it's kind of nice just to have so you don't have to worry about like buying it. But different medicines, sunscreens, different things like that. So I'm gonna get these organized, probably one of these little travel cases too. And the last thing I am bringing a few different snacks and treats, just things to have nice, you know, that you can throw in your bag for excursion days or on the ship or different things like that. So, whoo, <laughs> that was a lot. So Nicely done, baby. There is a lot I gotta get rolled up and packed. I'll show you everything kind of all packed away, but that is our <laughs> packing list for our year vacation. We are yeah. so stinking excited. Oh my gosh. Even wait, I think it's gonna be awesome. Let us know if you have any packing tips down below or items that are your favorite, especially when traveling over to Europe. But hopefully this all helps. Jared's all packed. We actually showed all the shirts that I'm bringing in a previous video. This is actually one of them. And I am beyond excited because <laughs> it's super easy to pack. <laughs> yeah, and then he's bringing like two pairs of pants and shorts, swimsuits, yeah. just simple things and then yep. a few pairs of shoes, sandals, yep. and that's Jared pretty much. So <laughs> you guys, we are getting so excited. Make sure you smash that like button if you're excited to come with us to Europe. You. We gotta get this all put away. And I think the next time we see you, it's gonna be travel day. You. That is it, you guys. That is our big packing list slash tips for you. Europe. We are so excited. I think the next time you see us, we are gonna be heading over to Europe. Wow. Stop on Paris. Wish us luck. We're so, so excited. <laughs> we cannot wait. But you guys, we love you all so much, and we'll see you all next see time. See you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye.